right, so what's up guys? So right now I'm on this hill back here which I've hooked on a bunch before. This is the place where I find all the nucris and it's really hot out today. That's why I'm wearing my super stylish hat. And yeah, we're gonna be checking out the spot for some nucris. Haven't seen them out and about in quite a while. Now that it's getting warmer, just starting to get into spring. But I'd come out here and see if I can't walk up any in these small shrubs just on the ground here. So yeah, I'm going to start just sort of walking around and see if I can't find any of these little lizards or any other quick little herbs on this hill. Alright, so I haven't seen much yet. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm just on the slopes and I'm heading down that way to that rocky ridge over there. But I just spotted down this field here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But right over there is the leopard tortoise. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, you can see him really far away from it, but I just spotted him way down the field over there. So that's really cool. Um, I'm actually just planning to go down to that field anyway, so look for some grass snakes. So I might be able to see that guy when I go down there, but that's really cool. You can see it's a Nice big adult, and there it is. But uh, I'm just gonna start heading down here, and then maybe later I'll go down there and we'll be able to see it. Alright, so that was pretty cool. Just flipped this rock right here and got a nice little brown house snake. As you can see him just in this sort of little burrow over there. It's a pretty decent sized one for the area. Which I'm just gonna Get him out of here. So yeah, there you can see him. And um, yeah, there's a cool little guy. Just spotted him underneath this rock, but there he is. Really cool little snake. I'm just gonna get him in some better lighting in a second, but there he is. You can see that really cool iridescence in the scales, which looks super cool. But yeah, I'm just gonna get him out of the sun quickly, just so you can see him a bit, bit, bit better, and put his rock back. Yeah, that's super cool. Alright, so he has this little brown house snake. You can see it's not a very big one or anything like that. But um, yeah, he was actually just sitting under that stone like you just saw earlier. That was actually in situ. I hadn't touched him or anything like that. I just flipped him and then put the rock back down. But yeah, you can see, as I've said before in my videos, they've got those light stripes. Um, on either side of the head, just running above the eye to the back of the head there. And that's sort of an easy way to identify the species. And, yeah, um, also they can get pretty large, but I've never really found ones very big here before. Not really getting over 70 centimeters. The largest one I've ever found here was 73 centimeters. So, they're not the largest ones you'll find here, but yeah, these are really cool snakes. And um, yeah, I'm just going to get some quick shots and then carry on searching for some other cool herbs. But yeah, that's really cool. Alright, so I'm just walking along this field. I was just up there, and that's like where I found the house snake. And as you can see, just right over here is that leopard tortoise. So he's actually sort of stayed in the same area. You can see he's just moved into the shade. And I don't want to disturb it. But this is a really massive one. I've actually never really seen one this size. Which I'm just going to go a bit closer here. But this is a really big tortoise. I didn't actually expect it to be this large. And you can see it was just eating some of the plants over here. That is really cool. I'll give you a scale of the size in a second here. That is really cool.
So just walking out from that field there and found another leopard tortoise. And this one you can see is just a really tiny one, or at least compared to the other guy. The one we just saw over there was actually um, 50 centimeters lengthwise like that. And this guy's actually only 15 centimeters lengthwise. So the other one was probably at least double the size of this one. So that's really crazy. But yeah, I'm not going to disturb this guy. Just let him get on his way. along the road here. It's a nice warm night so I just found this little Kepler the skink. So these guys will often come out on these roads where it's nice and warm like this. You can see most of these adult individuals have that nice sort of yellow belly with that quite nice with those quite nice markings on the back but I'm just gonna get some quick pictures and then let him go again. Okay, so this, these are two angular tortoises here, this is in situ, and you can see the one moving off, which this is now the um, sort of victor, because he has actually just flipped over the other tortoise, which is why these guys are also called fighting tortoises, which if you look at this one over here, you can see he's completely flipped over, and that's what that little scoot in the front is for, for fighting like this. It's actually pretty brutal because these guys can't flip themselves again. And this guy isn't dead or anything, he is still alive. And you can see the other one moving off here, so now he's going to be the dominant male that will get the female. But yeah, I'm going to get some quick shots and then Leave these guys be. Alright, so here I've got this nice cup at her. You can see he's got some nice yellow markings on the belly sort of thing. There. And we're just about to release him. Got some nice photos and stuff now. You can see he's more active now. You can release him in this big bush. Nice open area away from people. Actually just got him in a little, just around a house. That's a really nice one. These cape specimens will have these nice sort of yellow markings with that nice yellow belly with the usual sort of V markings or chevrons going down the back there. But yeah, this individual is really chilled out. He hasn't tried to strike or hiss or anything like that. You can see he's just moving along really well. So yeah, we're just going to get in this bush now. There he goes. You can see that excellent camouflage as well. You can just see the end of its tail right there. There he goes. Alright, so here's something pretty cool. Just found this red bronze gecko. Which I just on this little stick. Which, let's see, it's gone long here. But, now yeah, there it goes. Just a nice adult red bronze gecko. Which, let me just move this quickly. You'll be able to see him a bit better. 
kind of pretty cool. Let's see if I can get my hand in here just for some reference so you can see how big this guy is. Which it actually looks, let me just quickly grab it here. Hopefully without it biting me. Um, yeah, there we go. It's actually got two eggs. You can see just there. But let me just get it in better lighting quickly, then you can see those eggs better. So it's not great lighting, but there you can see the two eggs. The one being on this side over here, and one on right here, so kind of on either side. And you can see they're just starting to form there. So there's obviously a female. You can see they've got these really rough scales. So yeah, pretty cool find. I'm just going to get some quick record shots of this big girl and then put her back on a little ledger. Hey, okay, cool, I just found this nice little male angular tortoise, just sort of a sub-adult juvenile, it's not a very big one. But I'm not going to mess with him too much, just put him back in his little speckle and bush. This is really cool right there. You can just see it now. Um, they've just moved off to this bush. I don't know where the other one is. I think it's like, like right next to it. But yeah, that's two Karoo sand snakes mating, which there's the one. You can't really see it too well. Right at the tip of my finger there. And you can see it camouflages really well. But I don't want to disturb them too much because they are, we're just breeding. Um, which is really interesting when they mate like this, they'll sort of intertwine and they were just sitting on this bush over here and I don't know where the male has gone, I think this is the female because it's quite a bit larger, the females in most species will be quite larger, but yeah that's really cool, I won't disturb these guys too much, just get some quick pictures and then let them be. Alright, so they actually um, separated the two snakes and like an hour to half an hour later came back and managed to get what looks like the male um, yeah, he's a bit smaller but you can see I've just got him now I actually just grabbed him and switched on the camera I mean just following him around here and we saw the female a second ago as well but there he is so I'm just gonna quickly gently get him out here without hurting him or anything um, but yeah that's cool <laughs> Alright, there we go. He had me like one of his teeth were underneath my nails, but um, I got him off without hurting him. Um, and I'm just really gently holding him behind there. This won't hurt him at all. Uh, just so he doesn't nibble me again. But he actually got quite a good bite on me there. That's <laughs> pretty painful, but um, yeah, these guys won't do anything to you. They're completely harmless to humans. They've just got a very mild venom that just affects little skinks and lizards but um, yeah they do have little teeth that can be a little bit sore sometimes but um, yeah really cool to have got this guy um, and it's definitely back into sort of um, snake season or when everything will be coming out again and so we should be able to get Lots more cool stuff, and we've been seeing a lot of snakes lately, like the puff adder, and now these two guys, and the little house snake, and some other really cool stuff. Um, which you can see, it's just bleeding a little bit there, underneath my nail. But, um, yeah, that's completely fine. These guys won't do anything. And, yeah, so this is a crew sand snake. And I've shown these guys quite a bit in my videos, this is actually quite a nice one. But yeah, this isn't fully grown. They can get quite a bit larger than this. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to get some quick pictures of this guy and then let him back by his female. Alright, so after getting that smaller male, I managed to get hands on the female, which is just kind of chilling in the same bush. Luckily, she is much more chilled out and hasn't tried to bite me anything, which actually in her 
stomach there, you can see it's very large and the scales are sort of more pulled apart, um, or stretched I should say. Um, and that means she's got a meal in her, because it's just that one spot, so she wouldn't be grab it I don't think. Though I'm not exactly an expert of telling that. Um, but I think she should be grab it soon though, because of course I did see them mating. Um, which it's cool to have caught the pair, but I don't want to disturb them too much. Um, or stress them out or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get some quick pictures of both of them. And then I want to put them back in their same bush right next to each other so they can carry on doing their things and hopefully she lays a nice big healthy clutch of eggs sometime in summer which is actually a very nice large snake uh, for the species so it's really cool all right so here i've got this southern marsh terrapin um see so yeah, this is actually really cool um this guy was just found on the road and you can see just on his beak there sadly is a little bit of blood but I think he should um, be fine he looks okay um, I don't know what would have happened to him but um, yeah he looks to be okay nothing no too, no <laughs> not too many sort of bad injuries or anything like that just a little bit of blood by the mouth there so I thought I'd bring him up to the dam here you'll have lots of little fish to eat so yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna get some really quick photos because I don't want to mess with this guy too much more um, other than just walking him up here but um, you know, it's pretty hard to tell by because it's a juvenile they can get much bigger than this but it looks to be a male so yeah, I'm just going to get some very quick photos and then put this guy back. So I've just been trying to slowly get him into the water now, which what's nice now is that he's opened up his eye again. He's actually just peeking out his shell for the first time, which is really great. So I'm hoping I can just get him to slowly start swimming away. I've just got him in some nice little grass here just so he's protected from the sun and stuff but hopefully I can get him to start swimming away and I'll check in if I see any other terrapins or anything like that. He's really got me here. Um, which actually, let me just stop the camera because he's actually quite. <laughs> yeah, that's starting to hurt quite a bit, but let me just stop the camera for a second. Get him off me.